Hello there and welcome back to Adicraft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this fantastic Japanese shrine entrance uh, based on a real life example in Kyoto. So don't go anywhere and let's get on with the video! These are the materials you'll need for the finished build, so pause the video now to check them out. The overall footprint of this build is 26 blocks along the longer side by 21 blocks, and this accounts for the quite large overhang of the roof. Now building up the basis of this, uh, we are going to start here. Um, now we've got a gap of six blocks in between two sides, and for each of these sides we've got an acacia, uh, stripped acacia log then we've got three gap and then we've got another one and then we've got three and three. So you've got two sets of three gaps along this side. And then just fill in the middle with whatever flooring material you want. I've used the oak planks here. And what we're gonna do on each of these, and I'll just show you on one, is come up nine for these. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're gonna to top that off with a stripped acacia wood. Uh, because that's going to be visible from the, the top. So we're going to go around all of these and just build them up to the same height. With all of those 12 pillars in place, we're going to start from the top and work our way down in connecting these up. So I will just show you on this side and just duplicate this on the other side as well, but mirror it. So we're just going to, first of all, we're going to connect these up. And again, we will connect up all of the different pillars on this the whole way around. Just bring that around quickly and then we're going to go one two leave two blocks and then on the third block do exactly the same so we'll just connect all of this up as well right the way around and right the way across the middle here as well and then what we're going to do is just at this bottom block we're going to leave one gap and come up here bring this round all the way around here as well right the way through and we're not however gonna connect because this is inside the the first building we're not going to connect up this middle block and obviously we du duplicate exactly this on the other side however on the outside walls here we're going to leave two gaps and then we're going to have one more cross brace that's coming across like this and then just do that on the other side but like i say mirroring it the other tiny thing to do is at this level, we're gonna connect up the two sides and above, like so. And then we're gonna do the same on these middle pillars and the same on these far pillars as well. So once you've then done that and I've filled in all the cross bracing, I will come back to you and show you what that looks like. With all of these cross braces in place, what we'll have is this. So we've got a big entrance and clear path through the middle. We've got two interior sections and then a roof that just connects everything up. And what we're going to do here is we are going to use some uh, stripped wart stems here and here and the same on the back, like so. And we're going to fill those in underneath. And then on the interior sections, we're going to take some acacia trapdoors and go like this on both sides. And in the front and the back, we are going to then use, and shift clicking to make sure you can place multiple ones, we're gonna place all the way up some uh, warped trap doors, like so. And we're gonna do the same in these holes in the, the sides, well, on the insides and at the back. I'll just show you that one though. And then this final wall here, we're gonna fill up with you can use some white concrete i've just chosen to use the smooth quartz because it's a bit cleaner um, but yeah white concrete will work just as well as wood bone blocks we're just going to fill up all of this area here and yeah once that's all done i will show you the next steps with those complete right the way through the build what we're going to do is we're going to take the stripped warped stem first of all and on this wall uh, this wall in both sides we're just going to fill these up so I'll just 
we'll demonstrate there quickly. Um, all trying to go in the same direction. Whether you go across or up and down, it's fine. But just trying to keep them all consistent. Now, what we're going to do again, I'm just going to show you on the front, and we're going to do this throughout the build. Is we're going to take some more of the acacia, and we're going to leave one gap space there. We're going to leave another one gap space there, two gaps, and then one gap here, and then one gap here. And we're going to fill all of these in with the white, whether it's the concrete or the quartz, like so. We're going to do the same on the middle portion. But one thing that I have noticed is we don't actually need this crossbeam in. So it's just on this middle portion here, we're going to place these and then fill in the white. And again, we don't need this middle portion and then just fill in the white and do the same on the back. Uh, and that gives you this finished first uh, first bit of the build. Now the next bit I'm going to show you is completely optional. Um, this is based on a shrine entrance in Kyoto in Japan and on the back side and on the inside here they do actually have some uh, some darker wood and some stained wood there so I'm just replacing some of these bits at the back with some basalt and some acacia and then I'm going to replace these as well take these out uh, with some basalt as well and actually there isn't any way to get into the the build so we're going to put a door just let's put it in the right orientation at least facing this way like so so you can actually get in um, and this just keeps it like I say authentic to the actual um, real build that it's based on uh, but you don't have to do this if you don't want to uh, it's just your choice you can just have it as it as it was previously but just do that on both sides if you so wish the next step is to start building out the balcony and we're going to do this by coming to these pillars and we're going to place a couple of upside down stairs here. We're going to skip this one, we're going to come to these pillars and basically all of the main pillars that we've got here, we're going to put these on right the way round the build, uh, like so. So again, only the main pillars that we're interested in here um, for the build. And I, the other thing that I've just noticed looking at the other one is Actually, we want some acacia in these gaps as well just in the top sections uh, but again we're skipping these with the upside down stairs so just go around with these those upside down stairs and also fill in all of this gap in the middle with just some oak planks or whatever flooring you want to use but oak planks I think looks quite good with this build so just put those as the top slabs on the interior right the way across this build and then I will come back to you with all of those placed around the edges and the floor filled in above, we're going to continue with the stairs and for these stairs we're going to place them next to each of these blocks but one higher. So each case where we have these, we're going to place them like so and then again around the sides of the build. Then at the front as well we've got two that we're going to place in the middle like that. Now in all of these gaps around the side we're going to take some of the slabs and we're just going to run this all the way around here in between and that's going to start the basis of our uh, our walkway where we have these uh, pillars these main pillars we're going to place another set of stairs around like so and the final thing that we're going to do in this stage is we're going to take some, some more of the acacia slabs and just run them between these stairs again right the way around the the build like this just as a, as a detail so yeah we're going to fill all of those in and then i'll show you what the next parts to do will be after you've completed filling all of these in what we're going to do is take the slabs again for the acacia and just fill right the way in for these gaps until we get to these corner pieces and for these corners we're going to use a full block like so uh, and that's just in the, the corners the rest of it we are just filling in uh, with the uh, slabs themselves and then the planks at the edge like that then once we've done that on these edge blocks we are just going to run a line of fences right the way around the build as well so once you've done that around the build then that's the walkway and the balcony all finished. Now we're going to look at the second level and the way that we're going to do this is we are going to place blocks here and then we're going to mirror where we've got the blocks. So these are just coming inside so this is why we use the, um, the wood rather than the stripped logs. 
So we'll place it on here and just inside. Then here we're going to come in one and one here as well. And these are just the locations that we're going to place the, not that, that, um, place these pillars. Now for each of these ones at the edge, here we're going to come up a total of 10. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's going to be everything around the edge. These middle ones, we're going to actually come up 14. So we're going to bring it up as far as this, which is the 10, and then we're going to come up four further. And that will then give us the basis for the roof when we start building it. So yeah, just build up all of these pillars in these, these location, locations, and then we can get to filling in the, uh, the bits in between. With all of these pillars in place, then we're going to place the cross beams in. So the cross beams that go all the way around are exactly the same. So you go one, two, three, four, and on the fourth block you connect up a cross beam. And then you go one, two, and on the third you connect up a cross beam. And that runs, as I said, right the way around. We don't have any cross beams at the top because these are hidden in the roof of the build itself, but just carry these on all the way around. Now that all cross beams are in, like so, uh, what we're going to do is just connect up the cross beams on the interior of the build. So this is just going to be at the top level here, uh, right the way through with all of these, uh, and just fill these in. Um, the other thing that we are going to do is to take the white quartz blocks and just fill in everything above this level, like so. Again, right the way around the build with these, again, whatever the blocks that you're using for the white, the concrete, the quartz, the bone blocks, whatever you've got to hand. Uh, and then I will show you how to do the bottom sections. With these bottom sections, what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to come inside and again, we're going to place a couple of these acacia doors. Now then we need to come outside the build, so we do the same front and back for this. Um, what we then need to do is just place some of the acacia trap doors like so, so that those complete the, uh, the two by three. In the gap next to them on either side, we're just going to fill that up with the white quartz. And now for each of the other gaps, what we're going to do is the same. We're going to have two, and this is the side and the front, white quartz. And then we are going to have some of the warped trap doors. Just let me grab some of those. Uh, and again, we're going to shift click so we can place these in the gaps like this right the way around the build and fold them all up. And yeah, that gives us all of the bit around the edge. And the other thing that we're just going to do is fill in this floor or well, rather the ceiling in between each of these acacia logs that have been stripped. And these are the top slabs again. For this floor, we're going to do a very similar, in fact, almost identical thing to what we did on the floor beneath to create the balcony. Uh, and I'll just show you again. So we're going to place upside down stairs here and here, not on these ones, um, but on the outside pillars. And then on all of these side cross beams, these side beams going up. Then in between these, we are going to be placing uh, the slabs right the way across and right the way around the build. And then above here, we are gonna place next to these, each one of these. Every time you've got a, a place next to one of these stairs, we're gonna place another set of stairs. Like this. And like so. And then again, connect up the top section all the way round. So what we'll have is something that looks like this all the way across and all the way around the build, filling in the corners like this. Uh, and then once that's done, I will show you what that looks like, fill in that corner again, uh, before we move on to some of the other sections. Once that's complete, then it will look like this all the way around. So again, there's just these two extra stairs, which I didn't show in the previous uh, clip in the middle here. And now we've got some bits that are slightly different. So firstly, what we're going to do is underneath each of these pillars, we're going to place a full block. I'm going to do that right the way around like this on all of the ones where we've got a full block. Then we're going to take the stairs again and this time we're going to place stairs that are this way up because we're actually going to hang some lanterns down from uh, these in the future. So again, run these all the way around the build 
right the way around, just making sure that we've got a full block for each of these. When you get to the corners, then we're just going to place a slab in here like so. And that's going to be the same at each of the corners like this. Now coming up here as well to the next level, we are going to do exactly what we did previously and we're going to place a stair, an upside down stair in front of each of these as well. So that just gives us a little bit of extra depth coming out and bringing that nice swooping curve and that nice shape round. So we'll do that all the way around the build. Now we're going to take the quartz or whatever your white block is and we're going to run that right the way across the uh, the build and we're going to do that on the most outside of these steps so there's going to be one block of gap in between these and the uprights and when we get to the corners for each of the corners what we're going to do is then place a birch plank before turning the corner and going around this way then once we've done that around the build from each of the these blocks that we've got that we can see the underside of right the way from the corner here we're going to place some trap doors in underneath so I, I've got my back to the build now so that you can place it that's got the, so it's got the clasp at the back of the build so it looks nice and then we come right the way across the front uh, and yeah do that also all the way around the build so what you've got is the trap doors with these quartz blocks in on the top and there's nothing on the bottom of these birch planks. With the white in place and the corners done then we're going to start at the corners here and we're going to start placing some stair blocks into the center and once we get to the center a couple more blocks we're going to do the same from the other direction and that is on the front and the back of the build like so so you get this pattern with the double at the front now on the sides because there is an odd number of blocks then we're going to place a slab in the middle just at the top there but do exactly the same apart from that and just bring it into the slab uh, itself like this on both the sides from again from that birch block and we're going to do that on the front and the, the side as well uh, and then we are going to start moving out and doing the next section for the corner blocks here we're going to now come out and place a another birch block and we're going to place a birch slab underneath now we're also going to start placing some temporary blocks. I'm just using the smooth quartz, but we're going to get rid of these afterwards. And these are going to come all the way around the build again, like so. And again, out to this point and round the corner, but not for the corner itself. Uh, and what we're going to do is underneath this block, we're going to come out and round for this. So there's a gap there underneath with a birch uh, with a birch block here for the corner itself and underneath this we're going to do exactly what we did before with the trapdoors and just run a line of trapdoors all the way along so what we're going to do is just build this out and do that all the way around so again we've got birch and then a birch slab and then coming out and round we're going to have a full block there for the rest of the corner and yeah this does go round all the way around the build and the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to get rid of those once we've done all of that so just because those are temporary blocks once we've placed the trapdoors on top then we can get rid of those themselves because they're going to be replaced by roofing in a minute with all of the trapdoors in place it will look like this on your build now the next step that we're going to do is we are for the birch going to come out a slab here and then we are going to place some stairs in exactly the same way that we did for this set all the way to the middle and then switch directions like we have done before and again with the the slab and do that around the build and just show you the front there and again for the sides when we do this then we're going to come to this middle block and we're going to I'll just shift click the uh, the slab in place um, but yeah there's gonna be a slab at this end then we've got all of these stairs running into this slab in the middle uh, and then another slab at this end and same and we'll do that front and back and the sides uh, the other thing that we are going to do here is that we're going to place a temporary block there so that we can then place a slab on this block like so 
and that will just give us the kick up that we've got for the corners uh, in the build itself um, and actually I think that needs to be a full block thinking about it so that will then be a full block there sorry um, yeah and so we'll do that all the way around the build and then that is the point when we start actually building the uh, the roof itself now onto the roof and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some acacia planks and we're going to run these in this gap just at the two sides between the uh, uprights and the white concrete here uh, the white uh, smooth quartz rather and then on the inside we're just going to place a couple of smooth quartz and then we're going to place some acacia logs going across on top of those acacia logs what we're going to do is we're going to place an l shape like this and like this on the two sides we're going to place another acacia log on top of each of those like that and then we're going to run some of the slabs across here now on each of these corners what we're going to do is we're just going to go like this with an upside down stair on these three on the two sides like that and that again will give us something to place the roof against um, on these middle bits then we are just going to place two full blocks themselves like that and yeah just repeat that mirrored on the other side and that gives us like i say the the blocks that we can then start building the roof down from with the two eaves done uh what we're going to do is we're going to start building out the roof now the roof itself is going to for both ends and we'll just connect this up now going to come out one block further than this edge here uh, for where we're going to start moving down and we'll build the top of the roof first and then we will start building uh, the lip of the roof that goes around so basically we're just going to be following down the um, this build so what we'll do is we'll just build up level here we'll build out here build out here and then we'll just bring both of these out with one further block there so we're just going to come out as far as this white bit uh, and do the same on the other side so we bring the blocks out level there and there and then two high there and a single height there now once we've done that just for the ends then we are going to place some additional blocks so we're going to place a black stone slab in each of these just so it looks like it's connecting up so there's a, a little bit of um, structure in there but what we're going to do is we're going to do that at both ends and then literally connect the whole of this section right the way across and yeah each of these will bring uh, this across onto the top of the uh, the wood that we've got here and yeah just give us a, a nice space in here that you could use uh, but I'll fill in the entire top part of the roof and then show you how to do the, uh, the the bottom sections so this top section of the roof is now done um, I'll just show you inside quickly what I have done as well is I have just put some lanterns in here now I'm not doing an interior but again this is quite a nice space that you could use for say storage or something like that with some ladders or bringing a staircase up in the middle of the build here but like I say just not doing anything with that but I've just lit it up just to mob proof it uh, the next step that we're going to do is to start coming down from these edge bits and we're going to do the two sides and then we're going to do the two ends and then we're going to do the corners so that's how we're going to approach this roof now the first thing we're going to do is place a slab on top of this then we're going to come down by a slab again another slab and then finally we're going to come out by a slab here so what we've got is basically a slab down a half slab down a slab half slab down a half slab down and then level and we're going to fill that in and i'll show you again on this side so you just put a slab on top a slab there a slab there and a slab out over the edge do that on the front and the back and just fill all of that in and then i will show you how to do the sides with the front and back done we're going to do a very similar thing on the two ends ever so slightly different though so the first thing that we're going to do is just fill in this gap with some slabs and these of course are the polished blackstone brick slabs for this bit here we're going to bring this round and it's going to be on the same level uh, like this and then exactly as we did on the sides we're just going to step that half slab down half slab down again and then come out level with that for two uh, for two slabs 
like so. And just fill this in all the way along and out to the edge of the build on the front and the back. And yeah, then we will deal with the, uh, the next stage, which will be just finishing off the corners. The final element of the roof will be the corners, but I've just noticed here that in there, actually that should be in both sides and front and back. It should just be an acacia plank, just so you can see that that goes in on the inside. Anyway, uh, moving on to the roof. Um, then now that we've brought that out, we can just add in the final set of stepping out here. So once we've got this shape, just this four by four, we're gonna place a slab here. We're gonna place a full block here and here. And outside this full block, we're gonna come up with two slabs, just half a slab higher than the other ones. On top of this gap here, uh, we're gonna place a polished black stone pressure plate just to cover up the top of that birch, birch plank. And then here, we're gonna place a temporary block and then on top of that, next to that, we, rather, we're going to place uh, the final of the slab. So this slab then runs a block higher than this. Now the final step on the roof, once we've done the corners, will be to just go underneath. And we're going to place some birch trapdoors on the underside. Uh, so like this, all the way along the underside of the roof which gives a nice edge detail like that. Uh, a nice edge detail when you look at the roof from underneath. So yeah, go and do the, these corners in each of the corners and then run the trapdoors underneath. And then we've just got the final finishing touches to do and everything's done. To finish off the roof, then we're gonna use some polished andesite. And at each of the ends, we're gonna place a stair like so. Then we're just gonna fill, it, fill in in between with some just polished andesite blocks all the way across and then for the first three on each side we're going to place some polished andesite like so and then all the way along just at this level just half a slab underneath this we're going to run a number of slabs all the way along so there we go that's on one side and then just do the same on the other side like that now for the ends there's going to be a little bit of end detailing what we're going to do is we're going to place a chain with a lantern on the bottom here and then because there's some kind of banner type things on the actual build itself we're going to place let me do it the other way uh, actually that side so the clasp goes at the bottom and then the clasp goes together we're going to place that like so and we're going to do that at both ends as well um, basically there's some gold trim on the actual building so that's kind of just to represent that and then that's the roof and we will put some more lanterns and some detailing on the uh, rest of the build now in terms of lighting the build up now and putting some detailing on then under these corners we're just going to place some lanterns here here that one's a uh, slab so we can't place it there we can place another one just there um, what we are also gonna then do is we are gonna place some just hanging on each of these sections not in the ones inside the door but each of the ones where we've got the, the full block there and all the way around the build and where we have got this full block what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a blackstone button like that and what we're also going to do is we're going to take take some birch signs. So for each of these stairs, we're going to add a birch sign like this. And we're going to do that on all of these that stick out like that. So we should have three on each of the pillars. And again, it's just some detailing on the build itself. So do that all the way around. And then coming down to the next level, We've got this nice section here, and what we're going to do is we're going to just place some uh, some soul fire torches wherever we've got a pillar that doesn't have any detail on. And then coming inside here, what we're actually going to do is we're going to grab a couple of these blocks, make these into full blocks, and then using some chains, we're going to bring these chains down change a bit of a paint to place like so um, but then put an actual lantern hanging on the inside of the build like that and do that 
in both of these alcoves that we've got. So do that. I think that's the same level. Yep. And then add this in. Basically, you can put lanterns wherever you like. Again, you've got a full block here. So the aim of that is so that you can hang a lantern on the corners, which is why we, we placed the full block. And just light these up however you like. We're also on this level going to do the same trick that we did by placing um, that one. Didn't mean to break that. Uh, bear with me. Put that back in place. Right. So then we also want to place the birch signs just on these blocks as well. Again, just some, some detail. So I'll just finish putting these around the build and then show you the, uh, the finished thing. One final other detail that I just forgot to mention um, is that we are going to place also some birch buttons just at this level, going around the build like this. And then we're going to place also some acacia buttons just on all of these sections here where we've got the cross beams at the bottom. Again, just to add a little bit of interest, just to mix things up a bit and just to keep it authentic with the, uh, the original build. And uh, yeah, I'll show you now. Uh, without the uh, texture pack on and also then I'll show you in the shaders. Just a couple of little finishing touches that I've added so or, or slight changes that I've made so um, again you don't need to do this but I've raised where this acacia line was so that there's uh, a line of quartz then two and then one at the top just because it seemed to balance it out better and used the acacia buttons around there and the other thing that I'm going to do now is add some of the, oh, not that, some of the signs right the way around the edge, just to give a nice trim to this balcony and to sort of break up that color slightly. The final other thing that I've got is just a couple of um, pressure plates there. The reason I'm putting those pressure plates there is so that I can shift click into the side of them with some banners and just place some banners there as, as a final finishing touch. So I will just finish this off and then show you the finished build. So now with the default textures on, uh, just give you a quick run through of the build. It does look fantastic and uh, yeah, very similar. Uh, the texture pack I use is Vanilla BD Craft, which is just basically an HD version of the default textures. So it always does look pretty similar. Like I say, just non HD version. So what I will do now is pop on the shaders and show you the final thing. I've just popped the shaders on now and I'm using BSL shaders for this um, and I really really like how this looks now it's finished uh, particularly when you add in the banners now if you're interested in seeing how these banners are made there is a video on my channel the top 10 Japanese banner designs and this is just a color variation on that so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this build um, if you have then please let me know in the comments uh, also leave a like that always helps the channel very very much and uh, yeah if you don't already please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see any future videos as soon as they arrive on the channel uh, and with all that being said all that's left to say is thank you very very much for watching and i will see you next time on adcraft